It should be fun to work with the Gremlins again. I was like, you know, a reunion. Welcome to the set of Gremlins 2. Uh, Director Joe Dante has brought original Gremlin stars Zach Galligan and Phoebe Cates to New York City and put them to work in a massive high-tech skyscraper, along with a real estate tycoon and his management team, a mad scientist, a monster movie host, and a few familiar faces. When filming began, the mood on the set was quite optimistic. It's great to be working in New York right now. Well, what could be better than shooting in New York? I'm just surprised about the good attitude everyone has, you know, including the Gremlins. A lot of Gremlins are feeling fine. They're very happy. They haven't worked in five years. So I think they're pretty excited to be working again. And that excitement was shared by all. You know, we're just 100% upbeat right now. But right now did not last long. Took a sudden turn as we moved indoors to cover Christopher Lee's big scene with original Gremlin star Gizmo. Uh, sorry, Gizmo doesn't want you guys on the set. Abruptly kicked off the set, we soon discovered that ours was not an isolated incident. Can't believe it kicked off the set by the Gremlins. You guys still here? The early optimism was gone. Gremlins 2 was now a different set. Can I can I tell you something? Can I can I talk about this? It's turned into a, a disaster, a nightmare. <laughs> the picture's fallen into the hands of the Gremlins. I think they know that uh, can't make the movie without them, and they're getting very independent. And they're just not very cooperative. I mean, in all the time that we've spent between the two pictures, they've developed their own ideas of the way things should be. Did this include giving Gizmo the authority to kick people off the set? Uh, he was just uh, putting on his prima donna act, and he just didn't want anybody on a set. So what am I going to do? He's the star. I mean, you know, they think they're stars, and uh, either I just I, they can't be controlled. And at times, they're extremely demanding. At times, I mean, you know, you get Gizmo saying, "Well, I'm, I'm tired. I've had enough for the day." And, uh, that's it. No more research, no more work, no more filming. Our next visit found evidence of this. Production had come to a standstill because Gizmo and friends had called for taxis and were off joyriding around the city. They don't want to work. They're never on time. <laughs> In a way, they're the worst of what actors are. Every time an actor has a take in this movie, you do it like three or four times. If it's a gremlin scene, you shoot it 20 times, 25 times. I mean, it's just, it just these, little, these little heads started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They said, Zach, the title of this movie is Gremlins. Get it? Gremlins. They've just completely... I mean, I no longer have a, have a trailer. Despite these problems, production continued. Hey, the Gremlins want you video guys out of here now. Without us. Able to observe only from afar, we decided to go to the source of the problem, who we located as he was upgrading his accommodations. <laughs> but we found Gizmo hard to believe as paranoia engulfed the set. Maybe I should be talking about this. Has anybody else talked about this? I've had strange notes in my dressing room saying, uh, do not do this interview. They really think, oh, I don't know if I can really talk about this. I get a phone call the other night. There's weird voices on the line. And that's a kind of psychological thing that, that, that I never thought that they could be capable of. And Joe can't really do anything about it. He, he seems, well, frazzled, quite frankly. The old, old saw or saying, give him an inch and he'll take a mile. Here's your coffee, sir. I don't know, I can't wait till this picture's over. You know, we've been in the production now for several months, and I would say that the gremlins are really starting to wear people down. With morale at an all-time low, how much worse could things get? So we got gremlins taking over the building, and I don't have time to play around, all right? They're taking over the whole joint. I don't know what this is. Yeah, we're in a little, we're in a little frenzy now. The frenzy was an understatement. No, I can't talk anymore. Sorry. Inside, we found the building in total ruins. With the actors distraught and now the sets destroyed, it seemed likely that the film would never make it to the big screen. 
but not everyone had given up. Somebody's got to put their foot down and be boss, and I've uh, just, I told them, I said, look, this is my picture. You're the actors, I'm the director, and uh, when it comes right down to it, you don't get to come into the editing room, I, I edit it myself. Maybe.